fancy ditching your comfy bed for a cardboard mat and a sleeping sack? Well, these lot did, to experience what it's like for those sleeping rough on our streets. What we're doing is people from businesses and individuals are sleeping out on the streets to raise awareness about youth homelessness and to raise funds for local services and for a national youth homelessness helpline. The truth is that homelessness is exploding at the moment and in Bristol it's massive for young people because there is no access to affordable housing. So what we need to do is to get people to understand that and to understand that they can help in the routes out of homelessness. More than 83,000 young people face homelessness every year and half of all people facing homelessness are under 25 years old. They'll get a taste of what it's like for young people, but only a taste, We're, but what it does do, I hope, is really raise awareness of just how hard it is for young people sleeping out in Bristol. The sleep out isn't a complete homeless experience, but a small insight into what it might be like without a safe place to call home. I've happened to know a few people have been through losing their parents and being out on the streets at a young age so I've supported this event for a couple of years and this is the year I get to to do it. This morning I was packing my toothbrush and I I know here we've got like port but I was thinking if I was actually homeless I wouldn't be able to brush my teeth. Well yeah but if you were homeless the last thing you would be caring about was thinking about brushing your teeth. But there's one charity in our city who are doing everything they possibly can to help Bristol's vulnerable youngsters. Um, they just help people, young people between 16 and 25 to, so when they come into the service to help them like find any where to like sleep so they'll put them in the hostels or um, in one of their shared houses and they encourage them to become more independent. It means so much that like, there are people, that, that charity is there to help people, that like, we're not on our own. If any young people are, who are watching this or anyone knows any young people who are homeless, tell them to come to 1625 and they will get the help they need. The money raised can go a long way, but there's still a lot more that we can do as a city to stop this from happening in the first place. There's quite a lot of work being done at the moment, coordinated by the mayor, to, to make sure that in the coldest nights, uh, months of January and February, that there's no need for anybody to be, to be out on the streets. But, you know, we've had huge cuts in public services, we've had cuts in people's benefits, which has actually forced more people onto the streets in a dramatic rise. Whilst we can do what we can through charitable activities, we actually need a complete change to the way the government views uh, people who are at the, at the lower ends of the social economic scale.